Hey, welcome back. So today the United States Coast Guard released a report on the Titan submersible implosion, calling it preventable. Well, five people, they were killed in that disaster that captured international attention when that vessel disappeared. The submersible's wreckage was later found on the ocean floor. Michael Yoshida reports on the 300 plus page report findings and including evidence of a potential criminal offense. The United States Coast Guard releasing its findings on the Titan submersible, which imploded during a June 2023 dive to the Titanic, killing five people. The 335 page report is based on information from public hearings over two weeks last September. One of the days he was crying on my shoulder. Um, it's going to take too long and way, way too expensive. According to the report, the deaths were, quote, preventable, and responsibility for the implosion lies largely at the feet of Oceangate, the operator of the Titan. The Coast Guard describes a, quote, toxic workplace culture, as well as an inadequate design, certification, maintenance, and inspection process. This video showing when Oceangate employees heard a bang at the moment of implosion. According to the report, it took more than seven hours for authorities to be notified the Titan was missing. Four days later, the wreckage was found. Investigators laying out a dozen reasons for the disaster, including a failure to investigate after significant damage to the carbon fiber hull during previous dives. The report also details efforts to avoid regulatory scrutiny. He said I would buy a congressman and make basically the problems would go away. The Coast Guard says OceanGate CEO and pilot of the Titan, Stockton Rush, may have been subject to criminal liability if he had survived. Ocean Gate, which has suspended operations, releasing a statement offering condolences to the families of those lost. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida. Investigators also shining a spotlight on government agencies that they say missed an opportunity to intervene after a 2018 whistleblower's complaint. The investigative board is now calling for increased regulatory requirements for submersibles.